people always ask me about balance. Mm. And for me, it's it's one and the same, right? I mean, my my when I come home from a business day, yeah, that my wife and I are talking about what happened that day, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not like walking in going turn it off business. I mean, if I'm for sure. if I'm texting or I'm doing something or I'm on a call that's business related, you know, my family understands that. At the same time, um, I'm very intentional about having quality time with my family. So I was at dinner last night with uh, one of my leadership teams, mm -hmm. and one of the guys at the table was saying, "Hey." Uh, you know, I've missed the last few, my daughter's last few soccer games. And he was just telling a story and he wasn't mm -hmm. even trying to bring it up. Yeah. And I immediately stopped him. I'm like, Hey man, you don't have to do that. Yeah. Like you don't have to do that. Like my expectation of you is not that you're missing your daughter's soccer games. Like, I know we have a lot going on, but if you want to do that, right? Like I was at all my kids' sporting events, mm -hmm. except track meets. Cause they were just oh, too so long. long. They yeah. were long and boring. It was hot. We were in Texas. I was like, man, I'm not coming to all the track meets, but I was at everything else. Yeah. And so I'm like, Go to those events. Go yeah. to those events, right? And I mean, if you know, if you're the guy over in the stands and you're there and you're having to send a text every mm -hmm. minute or two, so be it. Yeah, you know, so be it. But go to them. Be there. Be part of it. So you don't you don't have to miss that stuff. Yeah. So how did you develop that? Because obviously you, you, your your kids are you know a, a, a do, young adults. They are. Now. Yeah. Twenty four. Twenty seven. Yeah. So when they were growing up, how did you navigate that uh, as a you know coming up in business? There's a lot of people who would love to. Um, you know, not have to work on those things, but entrepreneurs, I think they like, they, they really, yeah. it's, it's tough for people to find that balance. So how did you, when, I guess a better question is like, were you always that way? Or when did you really realize that, Hey, like this is important, this stuff's important to me? Well, and, and let me just say this, my wife's awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, in, in, in our first, you know, we've been married 27 years in the first 20 years of marriage. Um, it's funny since our kids are gone, she's interested when I'm going to be home for dinner. Like uh, what's going yeah. on, right? Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, now it's more interesting. But the first 20 years while I was just building businesses, I never got that call of, hey, when are you coming home, right? I mean, mm -hmm. and I, I was home. But I mean, if I wasn't, I never had that pressure. So That's first good. of all, I just had a hugely supportive wife and she was just awesome about mm -hmm. that. Um, but here's what I think I did that that was um, intentional. And I brought my family into what I was doing professionally. And I don't mean, you know, this was before all the social platforms were out there in the sense of, you know, I, wa I wasn't having to be in a spokesman for my company, but they knew what was going on, mm -hmm. right? I mean, they knew the wins, they knew the losses. I celebrated the victories with them. I protected them from some of the losses so they'd have to get those beatings, but I, they knew what was going on. So it was never this mystery of like dad's off doing his thing mm -hmm. and we're over here doing our thing. I think that's super important for people to hear because- a lot of entrepreneurs, they don't, they feel like they don't want to bring work home with them or, or they don't want to like talk about their day. And like you mentioned, yeah, protect them from the losses. They don't, they don't need to hear that you know, all the bad stuff that happened, yeah. but you know, you like share what's going on. Share what was going on, brought them in it. And, uh, you know, it was, that was important. And I think the other big thing is, is that, and I, this may go against every parenting book in the world, two of my best friends on this earth are mm -hmm. my two sons. Love right. That. Yeah. And so here's what I can tell you. I have to work for those friendships, mm -hmm. right? They'll be my sons no matter what. My wife, I, I, I hopefully, is going to stick with me forever. <laughs> but you have to work for that. So yeah. even during those times where I knew I was building businesses, I wasn't as available. I was running a million miles an hour. Man, I was going deep mm -hmm. when I needed to go deep because I wanted. I mean, this is just all simple. I mean, it's just simple. And and uh, I kept those relationships close and tight, and and they knew I was trying. Mm -hmm. All right. And people give you a lot of grace, even your own family. Can you expand on that a little bit more? So I, I, again, I, I think it's super important for entrepreneurs to take time for their family because there's uh, how many stories have you heard of people who are, you know, wildly successful and they got known around them? Oh, to, it, it's unreal. Yeah, it's unreal. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, you know. It's like you and I were talking about a second ago about community. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, your first community is your family. Right. Yeah. But you've got so, I mean, we love anybody that I've ever met mm -hmm. that loves what they do. They love their business. They're growing something. They're doing something great. They love the people we're doing it with. I've never found an entrepreneur yep. that's been successful that said, I hate my team. I hate my people. I hate my <laughs> office. I hate the industry. Never. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe somebody's like made some quick money off of something they didn't really care about, but it's, it's, it's important to have that community aspect. So when it comes to the balance, even mm -hmm. your friends, your friends and your family um, and that are out there. Um, I just don't, I really didn't buy into the um, work life, personal life mm -hmm. separation. To me, it was integration. 
And it was integrating it and bringing it all together. And I love social media Mm -hmm. because I love that I'm able to share with people that I care about and hopefully care about me what's going on. Yeah. And I love to say, hey, here's what we did today. Here's what's going on here. And so I do believe that technology has actually made um, building authentic relationships with people, which sometimes like people like, oh, social media is not authentic. I mean, I got on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Great story. I got on Facebook. Uh, 20 some odd years ago, Mm -hmm. because I think it was that long ago. Uh, Maybe it was 20. Yeah, yeah, because my mom, um, who I (laughs) love dearly, was wearing me out. She's like, I don't know what's going on with you. And and I was like, man, I, I want to call my mom every day and tell her what's going on with me. But I'm running a million miles an hour <laughs> yeah. calling my mom every day. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put everything that I'm doing, like, because I was traveling a ton. I was yeah. on a plane, like, almost every day. And I'm like, I'm going to put that on Facebook. And at least when my mom checks on Facebook, she's going to know what's going on with me, right? So mm-hmm. um, I, I think that, you know, and I'm not suggesting using social media is going to build your relationships. But I do think that it's important that you have awesome communication. Mm-hmm. Communication's key. Yeah. I mean, communication is key. Um, you know, if I come home and I'm in a not a good mood, right? Um, it's important to me that my wife knows why. Yeah. Right. Because otherwise she's gonna be like, well, is he not happy to be here with me today? And I'm mm-hmm. like, no. I've had 50 horrific battles today. I've been getting punched in the face. Mm-hmm. I've got this problem with this company, this problem with this company. Right. And I don't come home and just bring that all to her, but I'll let her know. So I, I think that it's communication and it's vulnerability. Super important. And you may, again, the, the communication aspect too. I, I people entrepreneurs forget how interesting your challenges are. Right. Yeah. And so like when you when you start, like you mentioned posting about it or when you just when you're sharing it with your partner, like, yeah. like they're like, oh, wow, like they they want to be involved. They right? do. I do. Yeah. They do. So w- one one word of warning. Yep. Um, so I've been married for 27 years and I've been talking to my wife about business for 27 years. Right. She's been listening to me uh-huh. for 27 years. Here's the problem. She got smart. <laughs> and so and so now, now when I'm bringing something up, instead of her just saying, oh, that's really interesting, she has an opinion. Yeah. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. Where did that come from? But uh, no, it's fun. I mean, and that is, that, that's what's fun as well, though, right? Is, yeah. I mean, you're able to have relevant conversations, mm-hmm. and, you know, and you're able to get some coaching and development along the way. But yeah, I mean, the communication is everything. And you're right. It's interesting to people, right? They want to know what's going on, how, how, you know, what's, what's driving your energy, what's sucking your energy. Mm -hmm. People want to know. And that's why I love mediums like what you're doing with this podcast. I mean, all the communication we have available is people are able to share is what's become really challenging though, um, is people need to have better discernment than than they've ever had to have before because anybody can have a microphone. Mm -hmm. And, And if you have a microphone and you have some confidence and you have a little bit of swagger, you can really influence people and that can be dangerous. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it valuable, please watch this next one. I think you're gonna love it.